guys welcome back we are back working on the camper this week hadn't had much time for it the last couple weeks but i'm back today working on it i'm gonna go start working on brakes i want to get brakes on this thing uh, make it safer to pull especially in the hills and off-road situations and since we've, we're always got the kids with us and the vehicle and everything the safer everything is the better but I've got some parts. I'm going to get this thing pulled around and sort of in the shop over here where I can get a jack under it and start figuring out how we're going to get some brakes on it. Should be interesting. So what we got here is new rotors pads for the brakes this is the dexter brake actuator electric to hydraulic that i'll be putting in new cord that's got this junction box to make it really easy for me to tie in the wiring and the breakaway battery and charger so that if thing falls off that triggers that activates the brakes and the trailer brakes lock up till the thing falls into pieces on the side of the road and bursts into flames. So, I've got to find a place to install the brake actuator. The brakes here are just the factory brakes that would go onto a Suburban. So this was a 2005 Chevy Suburban Z71 four-wheel drive, blah, blah, blah. Well, it's still got the factory, still got the factory axle under the back end here. So I'm just going to use the brake system that was on the Suburban and tap into the brake lines, hook this all up, and it should work. It should be a piece of cake. Just got to get it all hooked up and find a place under here somewhere to mount the brake actuator. So we'll see what we can find. So I got this pulled apart here. Uh, there's the rotor. It's the brakes on this thing. So these rigs have the disc brake for the main thing and then the back parking brake is this back here. So this right here is actually like a mini drum inside of the caliper, not the caliper, the, the rotor. And so actually the pads on this thing are pretty good shape. The rotor looks pretty good. So I think I'm, well, it's not great. That's the front's pretty good. That backside's not pretty. I'm, I may go ahead and change that after all. I was thinking there for a little bit. I might just leave that, but that's, that's not as good. That inside is all kinds of bumpy across there all kinds of worn down grooves and stuff in it so i think i will go ahead and just replace all of it since i've got all the parts new pads new rotors new pads on the parking brakes i'm plan to rig that up where i can use it as parking brake when we're at camp and stuff um, we got plans for that too so that's where we're at right now all right one down one to go
got dirty somehow. I don't know how that happens. Just like that, I've basically destroyed another perfectly good pair of pants. At least I didn't catch them on fire this time. Well, I think we're gonna call it a night because it's getting late. Back working on the brakes today. And this is some of the old suburban parts and pieces here. I'm taking this out. This brake line right here. That's the one I need. It runs all the way to the back over the axle and right there splits and runs to both sides. So that's the only one that I need. The rest of these I need to, they're just cut off already. I need to get them out when removing some of these old parts and pieces um, from under here. There's actually a lot of space under here for doing some different stuff tucked up. I could tuck some more stuff up under here. Might, might use that space for something at some point, but removing this stuff Currently getting all this out of the way, more fuel line stuff, brake lines. We'll get this ripped out and then figure out how to tap into this line and tie it into the new brake actuator. All right, I'll only hear me the neighbors mowing, but I got this all ripped out, all these parts and pieces and jazz here. So this brake line right here is the one that I need to tap into to go back to the rear axle. Now then, uh, current problem is this, this is the factory suburban brake line end and this is what came on the Dexter brake actuator. So obviously these are two different sizes so I'm going to go down to the auto parts store. The easiest way I think to do this is going to find an adapter I've got more quarter inch brake line that I can make more brake line out of, but I need an adapter to go from this size down to this size. And then I can, I'll need a few more parts and pieces, but I should be able to, once I can connect those, I can add on some brake line if I need to, but I can get those connected and should be, should be good then. Maybe, we'll see. All right, so I think this is where I'm gonna mount the actuator this is the old cross piece where the transmission would have sat back when it was a vehicle uh, so i got some angle iron here i'm going to yank that brace out and cut some pieces of this angle iron and weld them in to mount that to and that'll allow me my brake line is right back in there that i got to tie into so i'll keep that short and then these wires come over i'm gonna put this new junction box in right here for my trailer braking and then the battery i'm gonna mount right in here somewhere so that'll have everything tucked up out of the way and all close together, make it easy to wire and work on and be a little bit of a pain to fill that reservoir up, but I shouldn't have to add to it very often. Um, that seemed to be one of the better places I could put it at and still access it fairly well. So that's what we're gonna do.
All right, had to run down to the store and get some adapters for the brake lines. We'll see if that's all gonna work here in a minute. And I'm gonna put this brace in. Put this thing back in, get it bolted in, bolt the actuator onto it, and then see if we can't get the brake line hooked up. I got this installed brake actuator so I got to tap off here and get to here so it's not very far I thought I was gonna have to redo a bunch of the brake lines in here but if this works I should just be able to go from here to here so I got a handful of adapters and some brake lines so I'm gonna see if I can get all this put together right and get this tied in Got that piece on, just loops in, taps into that. All of my adapters to make these different sizes of stuff fit on here. But uh, it's hooked up now, so there we go. Now for the electrical. And we'll find out if we've got any leaks and all that kind of stuff. And if anything's going to work.
right, so what we did here, put this box on. I just welded these studs on to the frame so then I could just bolt this on. So those are welded on. And just like this, this these are two more studs I welded on for the breakaway controller and everything. So we'll get that bolted on and finish the wiring. Alrighty. We have all of the wiring done. So our breakaway kit, our box here with all our connections done in it on everything. There's the actuator. Still gotta mount the breakaway cable, but we're gonna do some testing to make sure I got the wiring right. And, uh, but first we gotta fill up the reservoir on this thing with brake fluid. So that's gonna be the first step, getting it full. And then we'll have to test and bleed the brakes and everything. So see what happens. All right, guys, I've been uh, worked on this thing basically all day yesterday. And I got the brake actuator installed. I got the, the battery brake away. I got everything installed, everything wired up the way I need to think it need to be wired up. And it sort of works. So basically when I go into the truck and get to the brake controller or, or use the brake, either way, I'm, when I'm testing it, it, it activates the actuator which compress, you know, builds pressure on the lines and works the brakes and everything like it's supposed to, but it won't stop when I release the brake. I have to come back and disconnect the, the truck from the trailer. So I've gone through all my wiring, making sure I had the right things, took out my voltmeter and ran through all my wiring, make sure I had all my wires right, ground, power, brake controller, everything. Been through it all multiple times, racked my brain, and finally I've just come down to I think it's the brake controller. Certain brake controllers don't work with these um, electric to hydraulic brake actuators. And so I'm thinking the ones I have, and I've got the same one in all my vehicles. I've got multiple trailers with electric brakes and they work just fine. But this, this is different because the type of system it is. So I think I'm gonna have to get a different brake controller for my vehicle. So I'm gonna get one of those ordered, slap it in and see if that fixes it. I don't know exactly why, but it's just, I'll go do some more research on it and figure that out. But I'm pretty sure that's the problem. So we're gonna call it good for this week. I gotta order another brake controller and we'll try it to see if it works. And I think it will. I think that's pretty sure that's what the problem is, but I think we're gonna call it a day for now. And we'll come back to this later when when I've got more parts. So, we'll see you next time.